We've been married 32 years, and uh, I got, my father gave me one really wise piece of advice before I got married, and it's held true for 32 years. On my wedding day, my father said to me, before you argue with your new wife, and you're gonna argue with her, before you do, take some time, step back, ask yourself two questions. Do you wanna be right, or do you wanna be happy? <laughs> right. And then he broke down and sobbed right in front of me. <laughs> I had no idea what that man was talking about. 32 years later, I can tell you this, I'm a happy, happy, happy man. I ain't been writing 12 years now. Sometimes I even have to ask her, am I happy? Oh, you better believe you're happy. Okay. I was just checking with you, buttercup. I gotta call my friends up. I can't go golfing, but I'm a happy, happy, happy man. And don't get me wrong, we argue. You've got to argue in your marriage. You don't argue in your marriage, it'll build up in your brain over time and fries your brain. Yeah, and then you wind up like those babbling, mumbling couples you've seen in Arizona, Florida, these 50 plus years of marriage, they're kind of walking down the street. The wife is fine. It's the poor husband eight feet behind her that scares me to death. This poor man's all hunched over, he's vibrating, mumbling, always oh, telling me what to do. Start telling you what to do. I'm a man, you can't tell, I'm a man, I'm a man. This poor guy's starting to try to win back all the arguments he's been throwing away for 50 years. You know he was 6'3 when he got married, now he's four foot one, look at the poor man. Weighed down by half a century of apathy. Leave a toilet seat up if I wanna leave a toilet seat up. Tell me what to do, I hope you sit in the water every night, I don't care. And that's when she turns around. What'd you just say to me? I didn't say nothing to you. <laughs> Scary. 